Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claude and today, Sagittarius, I'm going to be doing your mid-month tarot reading for the month of April. So I hope you're doing fine. Now please remember, those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. Take what applies directly to your situation and just discard the rest. If you would like a more comprehensive picture, you may want to check your Moon, Venus or Rising signs. Now what do we have for my Sagittarius querents, please? We begin your reading with the Ten of Pentacles. We then have the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Then the Ten of Wands. So you've got two tens here, two end of cycles. At the center of your spread, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. Please ignore my dog, he's probably barking at leaves. You then have the Eight of Swords. Then the Three of Pentacles, which has been coming out a lot for the mid-month readings, I've got to be honest. The Knight of Cups. And the Six of Wands. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy that's at work that you may not be aware of, you have the Knight of Wands. So let's talk about the energy around you at the moment. You have two knights in your spreads. And they represent um, things moving forwards or action taking. And the ones represent passions, desires, urges. They represent what your heart and soul truly yearn for. Um, this is really um, taking action, following your urges and you know your desires. This is around you at the moment. The Knight of, of Wands is not someone who's going to sit down and wait for it to happen. It's someone who's just going to go and embrace it. And fire energy is, is quite fast. It's not as fast as air, but, you know, it's second there. So it's, it's kind of um, things moving forward fast. Um, and really, you know, you following your passions and desires. So at the center of the spread, which is the most important card, so that's where I'll start, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Now this is a beautiful energy because Nines represents achievements. And you've got two, you've got the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. And the Pentacles represents your physical world. So it may be home life, and by that also, you know, your house or your flat where you live. Your work life, so job, career advancement, financial assets. So or your studies, if you are not um, currently employed. The Nine of, of Pentacles talks about having worked really hard, having applied yourself, worked diligently, um, honed your skills, and reaching a point where you can provide for yourself and you have prosperity and abundance. And it has this idea of um, standing independently, being um, self-confident, because you know, you, you've got the benefits of the hard work and experience you've done, you've got um, some aspect of recognition for it, and you are financially stable. You do not need to worry. And this came through hard work, because it's earth energy, which is slow energy, but reliable energy. At the top of the spread, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Ace. Pentacles. Now this is interesting energy because the Ten is completion and the Ace is a brand new beginning, the potential of the suit. And these are from the same suit, the Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful card of having it all, having worked hard and it's one step up the Nine of Pentacles in a sense that it's called the Legacy card. It means that you can leave something behind. Um, you're prosperous, you're abundant, you really do not have to worry about anything. In some cases, and that's a message for someone out there, it can talk about inheritance as well coming your way. And the reason why I'm saying this is because there is a brand new beginning coming um, on the other side of the Nine of Swords. So if we're talking about inheritance, and we have the Nine of Swords in the middle, as I said, Nine is achievement, but not all achievements are positive. And 
when you combine it with the swords, which is to do with the mental realms, so your thoughts, your knowledge, truths and communication, uh, the nine of swords can represent um, a realization, you know, some truths come exposed and having to accept them. So it may be uncomfortable, you know, the swords cut after all, that's what I always say, um, and it may create some worry and concerns. So for some of you, there may be inheritance coming your way because someone passed is the message I'm getting and it's for just just for some of you it's not all of you um, but this inheritance is gonna uh, provide you with a brand new beginning because the ace of pentacles is an opportunity so it can be a small small uh, amount of money coming your way a lump sum of money it can be a brand new job um, offer um, it can be starting a business, you know, you may have um, decided that you're going to retire because you did everything that you needed to do in your line of work and or changing jobs and this has got you up in your head and you're worried um, and then you get that brand new beginning, you start your brand new business, whatever the case may be, take what resonates, but this is... Um, the vibe I'm, I'm getting here. I'm really, you have a lot of pentacles and wands and this is to do with more with work life, with entrepreneurism, um, taking actions and this is what I'm seeing, the end of something which obviously um, throws you into some kind of realization and um, which may be daunting and then a brand new opportunity um, occurs, ensues basically because of it. Because remember, your middle card is one of um, prosperity and abundance, standing on your own two feet, on your own. Now, to the left of this, you've got the Ten of Wands. Now, Ten, again, is completion, and Wands, as I explain with the Knight of Wands, is to do with your passion and desires. The Ten of Wands talks about having pushed for something, followed something, worked on something, having given it your heart and soul, and successfully completing it, finishing it. So it's often referred to as, you know, dropping your burden because you're done. It's been hard, but the aspect that many people forget about um, is that it's done successfully. You know, the, the Ten of Wands sometimes is vilified. You know, people say, oh, um, you know, you're burdened, you need to drop the burden. Yes, yeah, no, but there's an aspect of success. Yes, it has been hard. Yes, it has been a burden, but you are successfully releasing that burden no matter what that is. And because it is right under this Ten of Pentacles, I see them as being linked. So when I was saying for some of you, it may be retiring, it may be moving away from a job where you had it all, but do you know what? It was too much. Maybe it was completely consuming you, which is why the Ten of Wands appears here. You, you've done everything, you've got the success, and now you successfully drop it. And you are still independently uh, financial, but actually financially, sorry, the Nine of, of Pentacles has a lighter energy than the Ten of Pentacles because with the Ten of Pentacles, this is, you know, provided for everybody. This is, it comes with strings attached, that legacy cards, whereas the Nine of Pentacles really talks about you being prosperous and abundant through your own work, but there is that independence vibe to it. And then you have the Eight of Swords. Now, Eights represents advancement, but with the Swords energy, it represents um, a prison of the mind. Now, this is directly under the Ace of Pentacles, which is that opportunity. Um, this may indicate that you are overthinking this situation. Um, this prison of the mind is self-inflicted. Only you can free yourself from this. It's about realizing that these are just thoughts, okay? This is what they are. They've not manifested yet. And also to be careful about where, what thoughts you feed. Because if you feed negative thoughts, they're going to manifest. So be aware of this and get out of that prison of your head of overthinking and nurture positive thinking rather than negative thinking is what I'm saying. And obviously... I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but the cards are very positive. So the message really is you do not need to be all up in your head about this brand new beginning. And remember that the energy around you is that of taking action, of following your passion. On the final line, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands. 
I'm sorry, I live right next to a fire station, so it may get very loud. So the three is the number of growth, expansion, creation. And the Three of Pentacles really talks about starting to see the growth of whatever it is you've put your time and effort in. It may also come with the beginning of recognition. So I see you going from the potential of this Ace of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. So you embrace this, you get out of your head, and this thing starts to grow. And then you've got the Knight of Cups. Now, as I explained, the Knights, they represent things moving forward, taking action. And the Cups is the emotional realm. Now, yes, it could be a love offer, but I'm really not getting this vibe for this message. Um, I see it as you taking action towards what makes you happy. Because the Knight of Cups is always um, seen as looking into his cup. He's holding it and looking at it. And his cup is his happiness. So this is you moving towards your happiness, making it happen. And we end your reading with a beautiful card, the Six of Wands. Now, I love this energy. Six is the number of harmony after having overcome a change or a challenge. And it is placed right below the Eight of Swords, that prison of the mind. So this is you coming out of it. This is you, because it's on the right of the Knight of Cups, following your dreams and the Knight of Cups is looking towards the right, which is the future. And the Six of Wands, because it's the Passion and Desire suit, talks about coming back victorious, um, successful, and getting accolades for it, even recognition, take what resonates. It is a recognized success. It is really having um, overcome a big, big change and challenge. It's, it's a beautiful win card. Um, very, very positive in uh, careers, jobs, predominantly, but that's because this reading is, is, is about that. So, really, the energies around you are saying, if you embrace the energy of the Knight of Wands here, if you go for it, if you take steps towards your passion, towards what makes you happy here with the Knight of Cups, you are going to be very successful, because you have the Knight of Pentacles in the middle here, standing independently in your power, in your uh, abundance. So it's a very beautiful reading. Let me close it with an oracle card for you. And obviously, with you being Sagittarius and having a lot of, um, you know, the Knight of, of Wands, uh, having that kind of energy is fire energy, which you are accustomed to. This is really saying um, embrace your natural instincts as well. So we have effortless. You see, waterfall. This is really looking at how water moves. Water moves effortlessly. It takes the path of least resistance, and when there are when there is a resistance or an obstacle, it just splits around it effortlessly. So following your dreams, going for your passions is going to feel effortlessly because this is just what's what you deserve, what's owed to you, is the message that just popped into my head. Um, so this is not going to be as hard as what you did before, you know, with that Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. It's going to be effortless, so you'll know it's right for you. Obviously, if you choose to follow the energies, because you have free will. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you did, or if the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I wish you a fantastic end of the month, and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.